Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant, and welcome back to the channel. It is a Thursday, but we have something very different to talk about today and something to look forward to that we usually don't see on Thursdays, and that is the next team of Team of the Season cards, La Liga Team of the Season, is going to be announced today. The actual team, like as you would see here on a loading screen, all the cards with the exact ratings, dynamic images, and stats themselves for La Liga are going to be released today by EA Sports and by the La Liga Twitter accounts on Twitter. So I want to take a look at that because that's going to change a few things, I think. I don't think it's going to impact the market really that much, but just for preparation for what cards are going to be out tomorrow, everybody is going to know ahead of time, which of course you could say we have been knowing this year because of leaks, but this is from EA. This is confirmation of the exact cards, not just leaks, right? So we'll talk about that in today's video and also what to expect on this very last day of Bundesliga team of the season. Probably going to be a quieter day besides the release of these La Liga team of the season cards. And also talk about how the Bundesliga Tots cards keep moving on the market and how they're still pretty rare. But, um, you know, a, a lot of these I think won't stand the test of La Liga team of the season this weekend after they go out of packs that well because of just how insane the content looks like it might be inside of La Liga Tots. So we're going to talk about all that and more in today's video. If you're excited, hit the thumbs up on the video. And of course, subscribe if you are new. Let's just cut right to the chase and look at this tweet and talk about when this exactly is going to happen. I know we talked about it yesterday in, in yesterday's video just a little bit, but I think it, this is like, this is huge. This is major. We're getting the legit team of the season. As you see here on Thursday, 15 best players of the season, and I feel like they can't really tweet that because it's not the actual 15 best players of the season because it was voted on with a popular fan vote. So I think that's a bit of a stretch to put that in the tweet there, my opinion there. Some of you guys might agree. But regardless, we are going to see that all 15 players of the entire Bund or La Liga team of the season released today at 7 p.m. CEST, which... I just did the math and looked it up. That is 6 p.m. UK. That is 1 p.m. Eastern, 10 a.m. Pacific. That is the content drop time. So today at content, I think it's going to be a pretty quiet day in FIFA besides like an SBC and an 84 times 2 Bundesliga pack. And we'll talk about that in a second as well. Um, but the big piece of content today is going to be this. It's going to be seeing the actual Todd's cards released today. Now it's going to be on, I believe this Twitter account. And I would not be surprised if it's also on some sort of live stream. Like if it's on the La Liga YouTube, um, last year they had the EA, EA sports FIFA Spain YouTube account was like live streaming the release of the card. So I don't know if they're going to make a huge presentation out of it. I don't know exactly how they're going to do it, but this is happening today at 6 p.m. It's le the legit release, the actual card. So that is a lot of excitement and a lot to look forward to because those would be the cards that we would want to be packing tomorrow on Friday when they drop in the game. And tomorrow's a huge day for packs with the swap tokens being redeemed for rewards. We'll talk about that a lot more tomorrow and stuff like that, how that could impact the market in general, but this is the really big information for today in itself. Now you're like, Nate, we've already started to see some leaks. And yes, I do want to go with you guys through some of these leaks. Again, I have a couple opinions on some of these leaks um, that we might see in La Liga Tots or some of the cards that we're going to see. You know how we've had expected stats, right? This is a Joao Felix, one of the newest leaks that we have had. 95 pace, 98 dribble, 91 shooting and passing. I think that since we're so close to these cards actually being released to the public, I would not be surprised if these expected stats and the cards that we have leaked are the actual legit ones. Since that information is coming today on Thursday, I mean, these cards were leaked yesterday, and that's a really short turnaround if they're going to change any numbers on these cards. I really think that a 95 Joao Felix is going to look just like this. I think our stats that have been leaked might be the exact one since they're kind of doing it a little bit different this week in terms of how they're, re they're revealing the team. This card, of course, is going to be probably a very OP and meta card in this game. Joao Felix's numbers up item is a very popular card with a big boost here. Going to have the five-star skills. If they give him a five-star weak foot, that would be honestly cracked. Um, but he'll be a very meta card. He's probably not going to be the most expensive card because his stats aren't insanely high, but he'll be very, very good in game. A lot of people are excited for that Joao Felix. Mr. Fakir is getting a team of the season as well. 93 pace, 96 dribble, a plus three upgrade over his foot birthday card. Again, the big thing here is, is he going to have that five-star skills or are they going to upgrade his weak foot and not his skills? 
or you know I, i'm just curious to know how they're going to go all out with the skill moving weak foot boost in these cars i hope that we find that out today too i hope that they talk about that in here today and that might be one piece of information that we don't end up learning today with this release of the cards and stats they might not talk about weak foot upgrades or skill move upgrades hopefully they do so that might be a little piece of information that we have to wait and find out tomorrow on Friday. But a Fakir card, that's a very important part to his upgrade as well. They're going to do the weak footer skill move on him. Scrolling up the list a little bit more, this one is actually massive. I mean, and just, just to think about the sheer hype of an objective Ansu Fati card... I mean, this is crazy. When this was leaked yesterday, Ansu Fati's Road to the Final item absolutely got destroyed in price on the market. But this should be our objective tomorrow on Friday is Ansu Fati, either Tots or Tots Moments, 98 pace. I mean, the, the stats are a prediction, of course. But like this, if this is our objective card, that's some incredible levels of content, right? A player of this quality, of this stature, of this amount of hype being your objective player, that's really, really big. And of course, since a lot of people, even myself, actually, I had bought an Ansu Fati Road to the Final card uh, at like 180,000 coins because I, I figured that he would go up uh, with the hype and with the release of the team of the season La Liga coming up. This Fati went from like 210,000 coins after that league came out down to about 155. And it looks like he's getting pretty rare. Um, and I want to check his price on Footbin here for a second to see how low he actually got. But this was kind of an unexpected one. And some of you guys might have lost some coins on this because of this leak. Fati was down to 150 flat. Was that his lowest? Yeah, it looks like 150,000 coins flat is kind of the lowest point here for Fati. Now, he is a really rare card, so we might bounce up just a slight bit um, before we actually see the um, objective Fati released on Friday uh, being in the team. So that's kind of something to watch out for. You might be able to make a quick flip out of that. But that was a really big league from yesterday. That's going to be a card that a lot of people will try to go after this weekend and grind that out. That's an awesome card. So hope the rest of the upgrade is good. But that's a pretty big league. And we have a couple defenders finally leaked as well. Arajo official stats. Honestly, and I'm looking at this card and this is actually saying something here because this is like the second worst card out of the entire um, La Liga team of the season. And this card is not bad. It's just not insane, right? You compare it to an Indica or a card like that and this guy's not quite as good, but it is the first special of the year and a Tots card for Araujo. So that's pretty sick. He is going to be in team of the season. Another defender released a couple minutes later on a leak was David Alaba. And that card right there looks pretty disgusting. I would have a little bit, I guess, maybe I'm being greedy, but I would have loved to see 90 physical on the Alaba card. That looks like an incredible center back or a center defensive mid. I know when Alaba gets juiced cards, people re really like to use him at CDM. That card looks really good right there. Moving up on the list, this is the one that a lot of us were excited for. Tots Vinny Jr., with expected stats, 99 dribble, 99 pace, of course, 92 shooting, 90 passing, and 85 physical. I want to take a look at the boost over the headliner just to check this off. That's plus four dribbling, plus, wow, plus six shooting, plus six passing, and five physical. Really big juice for Vinny Jr. And if they do give him that five-star weak foot, then this card will be Probably the most expensive team of the card, bar uh, what team of the season card on the market, bar Cristiano Ronaldo's Tots card at like 5 million coins. I think he'll be up there with him as one of the most expensive cards, if not the most expensive Tots on the game, if he gets the five-star boost on that weak foot. But those are the expected stats for Vinny. Eder Militao, another Brazilian La Liga card, Real Madrid once again. That card looks unfreaking believable. He's going to be one of the best center backs in the game um, at this rate. 90 pace, 96 defense, 95 physical. That is crazy. I know people were actually panic selling Marquinhos team of the year earlier yesterday. His price was down under 800K. He's kind of bounced back up. But as you can see on yesterday's graph, he started at 860, went all the way down to 785 before bouncing back because there was so much hype for this card and the leak stats and, and this guy getting dropped in the game so again that just continues to be like the main point of emphasis as we look through the rest of these leaked cards Muni Ayn, i said that araho was the second worst card this looks like it's going to be the the bottom of a la liga team of the season there might be another one or two cards that are still not very very hype but this team of the season in general just looks so so good and we're, of course we're going to see it the full team release today on thursday um, but again, just the card stats that we have seen and, and the leaks that we have, everything just looks so 
crack. So that's why I'm being a really, really careful here with a lot of these Bundesliga Tots cards because I think the hype is just going to quickly turn over to La Liga. Even starting today, I think people even might see the official team released for La Liga today and that might push some people to be like, okay, I might sell a couple of my Bundesliga cards or I'm going to be very careful um, holding on to these and maybe selling one or two of them for my team if I was trying them out because I see how cracked these La Liga cards are. And that's that's the difference, I think, between what's being released today out there in the public for everybody to see. The difference between that and a leak, right? Because think about it, leaks, yes, there's a lot of people that know about leaks. Yes, we talk about leaks, and that does get a lot of press and a lot of coverage, but not near as much coverage as EA tweeting out on their own accounts or you know, EA or La Liga tweeting out on their own official account. Like the La Liga Twitter account has like 8 million followers. Uh, so does the EA Sports FIFA account. That's going to have a lot more reach and a lot more people are going to see the actual release of the La Liga Tots team today than leaks normally would kind of show. Like more people are going to be, I guess, um, seeing that information just because it's going to be more of a casual release than than a, a hardcore person finding leaks on FIFA um, would see them. So that's kind of my thought on the La Liga toss today. I think that could impact the market a little bit. I just, again, like I mentioned yesterday, I don't have, there's just, the levels of hype for this team are just not in, super incredible for me. I know there's a lot of great cards in here. I know Davies is a top tier left back. He's so good. Bellingham's like one of the best, if not the best midfielder in the game. And Kunku is cracked. Bar from a few cards in this team, I just feel like the hype is not quite there but it's really going to be there tomorrow with La Liga. So I don't, I'm not really investing in any of these cards, especially since yesterday was kind of an up and down day um, with these items. You know, guys like Florian Verts, who right now I think is like 440K, 430 at the moment. Um, Verts had a crazy movement yesterday. He was like 470, went back down to 430, went back up to 490, 480, and then is now back down. Uh, Indica is, is another great card. He was about 340,000 coins at the content drop. Um, but then EA, of course, ran the guaranteed Bundesliga pack yesterday, which I'm sure a lot of you guys did. I packed Thomas Muller for my guaranteed Bundesliga Tots SBC and, you know, wasn't that great. But what happened yesterday too was, as we saw last week, the last two weeks on a Wednesday is people do the guaranteed pack. And if they don't pack the one that they want, they go back out on the market and buy it, right? So you had this Indica card. The flipping graph is probably not going to show it very well because it was such a quick fluctuation. But Indica was up here at like 340K. And then he went down to like 330. He was actually, actually it was like right here. So he was like 340. He went down to 320 to 330 and then shot back up to like 350 in like an hour time span. But then EA dropped the 25% and the 35% lightning rounds that are Bundesliga specific packs. And that dropped this Indica card back down to 330. He then spiked to 350. And here we are once again, at like 329, 330,000 coins with weekend league rewards coming out today. It's like the late, this, this almost feels like a, an old Thursday. If you think about it, right? Today is like how it used to be with weekend league and Bundes and um, rivals rewards getting paid out today on a Thursday. It's just like good old times if you think about it. Uh, so there might be a few more movements with these Bundesliga cards, but even if you want to use one of them in your team this weekend with how cracked these cards look, um, then, you know, I think I would still be holding off and I would take the chance that, you know, if you don't want to play your weekendly games on a Friday or Saturday, if you're going to wait till Monday or Tuesday, that a lot of these cards are, are going to be a bit lower when we get to that time frame, uh, just because of how cracked the Liga Tots looks. And a lot of the other content that's coming out, right? The Tot swaps are going to be available. That means these cards are going to get packed a decent amount, uh, or the La Liga Tots cards on Friday from some saved up packs. There's going to be those um, La Liga specific packs, just like they've done for Bundesliga. I, I want to check and see if there's any in the store right now. We had some packs that were added uh, in the code last night, like the 84 plus um, Bundesliga pack that we saw that same pack for La Liga is going to be released. Um, do they have it out right now? They do. They're running a lightning round of it at this time. The 35% packs, man, like the 83 plus star duo for Bundesliga. It's like the same thing for La Liga has been added to the code. So we'll talk a little bit more about that tomorrow, of course, and what to expect for the uh, TOTS prices on Friday when they actually get released in the game. Um, but that's uh, those packs being released again 
uh, for the Bundesliga yesterday really impact the prices and it's probably going to impact them even right now as you're watching this on the market. So there might be a few more fluctuations. And if you like to trade with these cards in packs, you know, like I just looked at the Lewandowski, maybe there's a point tonight where Lewandowski drops down another like 20 or 30 K and he's buyable at like 630. And then we can sell him at like, you know, 700 or 690 before like marquee matchups or something today on Thursday. But, uh, you know, I'm not going to mess with these cards too much. It's just not for me. And of course, if you've invested in La Liga out of pack specials, those continue to rise. Just be careful with them. I really think, especially after the, the Fati leaked objective, I'd be very careful with the guy like Carrasco as a left mid who is up like 10, 15,000 coins from where he was in community tots. Uh, Suarez, I, I think I don't really like Suarez as much as I did anymore. Suarez is 950,000 coins. He's getting pretty rare, almost back up to a mil. But with the uh, Joao Felix, it looks like it's coming out. Um, the Benzema, I think those are going to be two really popular strikers that maybe this, this Suarez goes up a little bit on the weekend. Um, but I just, I don't know. I think that the, the draw Felix might hurt his price a little bit. And if we were to get another attacker slash striker in the team, that's really good. I think that might hurt his value since I think technically Muni Ayn counts as a midfielder because he's a left mid. So we have Benzema Felix and we have, uh, Vinny Jr. as leaked cards in the team. I would expect one more attacker unless the left mid Muni Ayn technically counts for an attacker. Then we might uh, not get one, but we'll have to see. This card has already just continued to go up so much. And, you know, especially on the lower tier cards, we talked about that in yesterday's video, selling some of those La Liga specials in the hype might just be the best play. It might just be the best play, except for some of the higher tier ones. You know, I'm thinking about taking the money on a Tony Cruz or, you know, maybe even a Melito. How much is this guy? 300 and, uh, wow, 340, that's nice. He's really rare though. So some of the really rare cards I might hold on to, but other cards like this Yuri Berchiche, who I think is like, you know, almost, almost 40,000 coins. Maybe he is 40K right now. Bought him at 30,000 coins. I think about taking the cash on a card like that. So unless it's really, really rare, uh, then, then maybe you think about selling in the hype. And I think that might be a pretty smart way to go about your La Liga special card investments. Um, again, it's always a gamble selling in the hype because you know that a lot of people have invested. You just don't know how much hype is going to be when the cards actually get released. And that impacts a lot. So it's, it's always a gamble. But if you've seen a really nice rise on a card already, I sold Hinka Pays in the hype last week. Yes, I could have held on and made more coins, um, but I was happy with the profit that I made. And that's, that's the risk that you run with selling in the hype sometimes. You know that maybe there is a chance that it could rise up more later and that you would miss out on some potential profit. But also there's a chance that, hey, this card might absolutely get destroyed in price because of something else that comes out. And then you're losing a lot of coins and you're wishing you would have sold into the hype. So it's, it's, uh, it's tough. It's sometimes tough to make that decision or that call, but you know, selling in the hype is always the safe way to do it when you're taking that guaranteed money. So that's just kind of a word of advice. If you know what I mean by selling in the hype on those La Liga specials, we've been talking about it in the past couple of days. So other content to expect to see today on Thursday, the team getting released, right? We talked about that plenty. The 84 times two Bundesliga pack is going to get re-released again. That was the glitched one that was released on Tuesday. Uh, as you can see here, oh, never mind. Wait, I'm pretty sure it says it was going to get re up today. Pretty sure when we when I um, first did this pack on Tuesday, it said that it was going to be repeatable again today. So I don't know if that's true or not, but I thought it was. So watch out, watch out for this SBC. It doesn't look like it's going to be repeatable today, but maybe, I don't know. I'm not entirely sure what, what that means, but I thought on Tuesday, I was pretty sure that I saw it was going to be repeatable again. Who knows? Uh, watch out for that one. But besides that, I think we're going to get the Dorsch SBC that I, that I first showed you guys as one of the leaks uh, for today. It was right before Ansu Fati and Fakir and Joao Felix. Yeah, right here. Dorsch is added to come via SBC. Now, this card does not look that great. It should be pretty cheap. It is a nice link to Cali Aguri. So for some of you guys that really want to get Cali Aguri in your team, this might be a really cheap center defensive mid option to link together with him with those Augsburg links. And he's also German. So that'll be pretty easy to link in the Bundesliga side if that would work good for you in like Bundesliga cup matches or whatever. So that's kind of nice. I think we'd also get a new set of marquee matchups today. Of course, usual Thursday content. And hopefully, I know some of you guys out there are really hoping for more league 
SBCs. We do not have the La Liga League SBC, so I think that a lot of people would be very happy to see that re-released today on this game. And, you know, just to see the League SBCs come back that are expired at the moment, uh, I think La Liga would be the number one most uh, exciting one that people would like to see come back. So that could be happening uh, today on this game as well. So it should be a pretty good Thursday. Again, a lot of the hype today is going to be driven by the release of the team for a La Liga team of the season today. It really is going to be driving the hype today. Um, oh, last, I always forget to talk about fodder. My apologies, right? I got to talk about fodder because yesterday, SBC fodder absolutely boomed. It was crazy. 80, uh, 83s were at like 3K. 84s were above 5K. There were some 82s and 83s selling for like 9,000 coins uh, yesterday. It was nuts with the fodder going up as much as it was. Index 84, as you can see from the guaranteed, had a huge spike yesterday in that first hour after the guaranteed was released. And now it's kind of falling back down again. Maybe a little bit of a slight rise today on Thursday if the 84 times two is out again, but you would have tradable pack supply most likely from marquee matchups. And you might have more lightning rounds today. Thursday, last week, they did lightning rounds as well. Um, so just kind of keep an eye out there for that. That could be part of the content that we see today. But if you sold fodder yesterday, I think that was the move. I think that was a great time to do so. If you haven't, you could take a, a look at doing that this weekend. I think fodder will be in demand though later on in this next week because if the content for La Liga looks really, really good, and we'll talk about this tomorrow, if there's drops on fodder Friday, Saturday, that's going to be a great time to get in on some of these cards because I think that next week there could be even better profits on fodder if the content's just going to be as good as it seems based on the leaks so far. So that's kind of the situation with SBC fodder. I would sell it if you want to. If you bought 84s like last week or even um, this last weekend at like 2,000 coins a piece, you're like, Nate, I'm not selling this stuff because it's still it's still crazy low. And I know that 84s at some point can go to 6 to 7K. They can. The question is just when is it going to get there? So if you're still holding on the fodder because you got it super duper low, that's completely fine. But if you wanted the quick flip, then that opportunity has come. So if you want to get out on some of that stuff today, or if you did yesterday, I think that was the biggest W there. Now, also, you might be like, Nate, I see the number in the bottom right hand of the screen is going up. Who did you pack? We are above 50 team of the season. We are at 52. And shout out to this mad lad yesterday for joining the club, Lewandowski. Uh, I set up 22 player picks in yesterday's stream to start off the stream and literally the first player pick out popped 97 Lewa. So finally we had a big boy blue from player picks, which was very, very nice. Um, you know, I'm, I'm probably going to try him out in game here pretty soon. He does, he, he does seem pretty decent. The finesse shot. I mean, he's only scored one goal, one assist in five games, but I've been getting worked in Bundesliga Tots Cup. It's been horrendous. And I do have to qualify for weekend league still as well. I got to get a couple games in today. To hopefully get those four wins, get some uh, W's out, and then uh, be ready for the weekend league. But that's kind of the update on the Tot situation. I've packed like five or six Neuers, which has helped me finish Vieira and finish a couple other player SBCs. But the you know I I just don't have a ton of motivation to do a bunch more player picks and to send a lot of my coins into this um, because of La Liga Tots, right? And that's really what I'm going to look forward to today is seeing what, what actual cards we're going to get in La Liga Tots. And then really on the weekend, we're going to have to get prepared for a huge send on Monday because with how those leaks look, that looks to me like an insane opportunity for upgrade packs and packing a lot of blues. So that's going to be the video for today, guys. If you did enjoy it, smash the thumbs up on it, comment down below if you have any questions, and of course, subscribe if you are new. It's going to be a big day with La Liga Tots announcements, and that is absolutely what I am most excited for. Again, it has been Nate, the Foot Accountant. I will catch you guys later. Peace.